here is my my HPA controller board. So we have so this button is the switch is the trigger for the gun. So you press it and it releases a pulse of however long you want it to be. This is the selector switch. You hold it down, it does nothing. But when you're holding it down is when you switch the gun to full auto. So when you hold down this button, which is the trigger, boom, full auto. Okay, so this is the progress currently. I have wires connected up to the trigger. So this safety, boom, no shooting. Boom. So when I hit that over, now that this is connected to the multimeter, this still works. Boom, boom, boom. Every time that hits, that closes this switch right here. So, boom, on, off, on, off, on. 3D printing! Another thing I did, okay, so this is the air cylinder. This is the inlet valve. This is gonna sit where this gap is currently. So, when you put in air, it'll force this piston forward, and then an internal thing opens it when it hits there. So it shoots a BB, comes back, BB goes up, pushes it forward, release of air. <laughs> back, release forward, air. And then you can have the shooting mechanism there. And then this will be hooked up to a valve, which will be hooked up to this board. Okay, so this is how the quick swap of the air tanks works. So this valve just screws off. You can pop it up, over, onto the next tank. One sec. Next tank, and pop it over. You screw it on. And it's these top valves that open the tanks. This one I'm gonna have to use wrench for, but this one has an easy thing. And you just twist this, it opens it up. And the regulator will be attached to this right here. And then this quick connect fitting which doesn't let out any air until it's connected to the hose will be connected here onto the regulator and this all will fit perfectly into this backpack and this hose is just long enough to come around me to my gun okay so this is what I have so far it's the gearbox, now with, what's it called, the cylinder inside of it. And here I've drilled a hole out the back, which fits the HPA tube, which on the actual gun, here, let me just grab it real fast. Give me two seconds. We'll run out the back of the M4. The stock buffer tube will be covering most of this. And then this opening is for the wires and the HBA tube. Okay, okay, update, update, update time. Okay, so we have the valve hooked up to the circuit board, and then we have the air tube running to the, to the thingy, whatever this thing is called. Anyways, it works. I don't have full auto right now because I don't have the selector switch hooked up, but if I do this, and then this, Haven't adjusted the channel yet. This is at 100 psi. This is just current mock-up. I have not attached everything because currently I'm testing the fitment of things together to see if it actually all works. So I hooked up all of the switches, all the things temporarily to the thing. So this is running off of my air compressor. 
at a hundred, like a hundred, maybe 20 PSI max. So I'm gonna set you, I'm not clamping my phone to a two by four, I swear. Oops, uh, one sec. Do, 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 do. Okay, now we take our airsoft gun and go Okay, so this is the first real test of the janky thingy. Uh, I don't know what to call it. This bag is temporary. It's holding our Arduino and battery right now. And so is this tube. I will have a tank attached to my back, just I'm missing the fitting for the tank. Let's see if this works now. I finally have the final fitting. So I've attached it to there, it hooks up to this, which hooks up to the air hose, which will run to the gun. We should now see this. This is running. Currently at just over 200. I maxed it out already. And let's see if I set up this camera, how good our results will be. Let's grab the air. I might need to use my better fittings for this. Let's. Holy shit, that's hard. Oh, oh, it holds the pressure. Oh, that's sick, that's sick, that's sick. Okay. Let's get eye protection. Let's get eye protection. Um, that's a mistake and a half. I like my eyes. All of my glasses are inside. I have to use this sucker. Okay, this'll work. This'll work. We take the gun with its 200 PSI and let's try it. Oh shit. Don't turn it on. Oh, technical difficulties. I don't know how much pressure is in this tube. Let's. 150! 150 boys! <gasps> it works! Okay, 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 okay. I think the regulator didn't do its job and it, it, it just wasn't working there for a second. Let's see. It's running better. Let's, let's get... Let's see if the other tank has more pressure in it, because I actually don't know. Okay, so tank one for testing did not work. Let's try tank two. It has more pressure, boys! It's got closer to 500, so this will be better. Let's raise that to 170. Let's test 170. Testing 170 PSI. Just as good as my AEG. It hits as hard. Holy fudge. Can we raise the pressure any? Let, oh, let's not go that high. Uh, let's do... What's that? I can't math today, guys. Um... There's too many nicks. 75, 180. This is 180. Holy crap. Oh, it doesn't work 180. Um, let's lower it until it works. 
Works just fine around 170. Okay, the mag is, the mag is kind of bad, so. Ow! <laughs> Don't do that. Here in the app is where you adjust the timings right here for the gun. And right now I'm gonna find the optimal timing for the gun. Okay, so it's not exactly pretty, but the whole regulator and tank fits right in this backpack. And out the side there comes the fitting for that tube. Okay, so we have here the completed, hopefully 100% completed two hicker me and Bob. I'm gonna shove that there. Let's take the fitting, the gun, touch it, but there's a little chair. We have the boy. I want to see how she rolls. Anyways, so this is the final version. Mag 2. Let's see how many rounds I can get out of this one. If it was fudge and feed, because that's my fault. Anyways, that's interesting. We have about a mag and a half off of just that much air in the tank, which was 1200 psi, if I remember correctly. You know, I almost might. I think it'd be really fun to run the big tanks on my mag because I think they have about double the capacity. As the smaller ones, I'm not exactly 100% sure, but if they had double the capacity, right, then I, in theory, could run for twice, well, four times as long as I just ran, which would be about as long as any G battery would last. I don't think I have a way to put any pressure into these tanks now that I think about it. Also, that's freezing. I wonder why. Um. And it wasn't good enough. Made it better. Okay, so this is the project that never ends. So what I've done is I decided that the stupid relay does not switch fast enough nor reliably enough. So I looked up how to get a MOSFET because I don't have money anymore. I'm out of money finally for this project to buy any more electronics or anything. So I took this power supply, just a regular power supply, wall power to DC plug, something like that, yeah. And I literally cracked it open, and the first thing I found inside was a MOSFET. So I stole the MOSFET, and now instead of 70 milliseconds, we got 20, and it works flawlessly. Oh, the rolling shutter doesn't show it. <laughs> Anyways, that's blinking at 20 milliseconds. That's blinking, let me do some math real fast. That's 25 FPS, 25 rounds per second. That's crazy. 
And this MOSFET can do way more than just that. Okay, so now I'm testing the MOSFET, and here's the Arduino. And I have the milliseconds set to 30. Holy crap. Okay, so I have installed the MOSFET, and this is the new timing. That's all for now. Uh, come back later if I get this gun working properly at the field and I'll maybe have some gameplay. Mostly just timing fixes is all I'll really have because I don't have action cameras. But, but, I might try and make a guide on how to do this like I did in the future.